Hey guys, this is Chris. I'm doing a follow-up video here on uh, the one I did about the Hubson warranties and uh, them not making parts available for the Hubson Zeno. Surprise, Hubson Zeno. Um, but they're not making these camera gimbals or the main boards uh, available as parts. At least that was the case when I made the video. Um, so I just want to give you an update if anybody hasn't heard. Um, and I like to think that maybe myself and some others had something to do with it. Um, I do know Hubson, they don't like conflict. They don't, they don't like pressure and they will give in. Um, if you recall in the video, I said they will eventually supply this part. They always do. It just depends on how long and sometimes you can get that process done a little quicker if you apply a little bit of pressure. So I like to think that maybe we had something to do with it and what we did is uh, it was myself and somewhere it was like nine or ten people. Um, we hit their Facebook profile messages like Sam Lee, uh, the Hubson official, um, private message them and I don't know, maybe some of them might have said something in the Hubson official Zeno group. Um, I'm not in that group anymore um, due to some children that are in there I just can't tolerate. <laughs> but uh, they and myself messaged and messaged and messaged. Uh, and then we also hit the service at Hubson.com and the sales at Hubson.com and Sam Lee at Hubson.com. Um, we did those emails every day. Uh, I think some of the guys did multiple. Um, I get no result when I do that as far as a reply, but I can see that they are being read. So I'm enemy number one at Hubson now, so I'm not, I'm not in the good graces like I used to be. But uh, I can see that they read them and they just don't respond and that's that. So I wasn't getting any answers, but others finally on the fourth day uh, we got answers and Hubson announced that we will be supplying, I don't have the words in front of me, I should have done that, but they said they will be supplying the camera, the camera gimbal part uh, a month to two months from now roughly. And uh, the reason they said, they also threw in the reason that um, uh, it will need, it takes that, it's going to take that long because they are going to supply a tool. So that makes sense to me as well. I've replaced these. I know it's not an easy task once you get it replaced. Um, and I'll kind of explain that roughly. Uh, it's a very easy repair as far as taking your old camera out and putting a new camera in. It takes no time at all. It's it's very quick, very easy. Um, you just need to be careful with your connectors. But once you get it in, it's not a plug and play type thing. The board, the, it, it, it's, it does not recognize a foreign camera is the way it sees it. Um, it does not recognize a new camera gimbal. And uh, I first had problems with that and uh, I had one I had one repair where I, I couldn't get the camera to take. So if you recall from my other videos, I've got I got some defective units and what those defective units are is they're just returns. Um, that doesn't mean necessarily that something is wrong with them. Maybe the person couldn't use their device with it. I don't know what the case was. But anyhow, the, the one that I could not get the camera to take on, was, I, I ended up taking the camera and the board out of the defective unit, put it in the guy's quad, and then I got it to recognize it. So that did confirm that the board and the camera are programmed uh, basically like a signature or an address or whatever uh, to identify this camera. So then I got, you can call it lucky, whatever, but I was able to do two cameras uh, based on 
just playing with firmware. I played little firmware games and maybe I tricked it. I don't know what I did actually. I know it was either the gimbal or the camera firmware that did it. But uh, basically I just went back to the beginning of versions from back in October when I was testing it pre-release. And I just kind of I started throwing firmware at it. And usually it just won't take the firmware, but I got it to take... Uh, some versions of firmware and I don't have that recipe in front of me I th Maybe I do Not important right now <laughs> I don't have that recipe in front of me, but I Got it to take once I got it to take one version of firmware then I could update it to the latest firmware so um, to be safe what I did is I actually went through each version of firmware and just kind of built my way up to it just kind of to see what it would do and also just to, just to make sure that everything was okay. So I got it, I got two of them to successfully take that way. It's a pain in the butt. Nobody wants to deal with that. Nobody has all the versions of firmware that's been released um, and you don't want to play that game. So that's where it's hard. That's where Hubson says it takes an engineer and um, I get it. Um, so those people who have a hard time doing updates and things like that, uh, that's what I think the, the whole thing is. Hubson saying um, we're going to sell this with a tool. Um, it's not going to be a physical tool. I think, I don't know 100% that. I don't, I don't know. They haven't said exactly what it is, but just doing them myself and knowing what it takes, I think it's very safe to say it's going to be a program tool. So you're going to put this camera in your quad. You're probably going to plug the quad in, connect with the tool, and then it's going to probably load some drivers or something to the quad, something to identify, uh, be able to pick up and identify this camera and gimbal and uh, allow you to do the updates after that and calibrations and stuff. So um, I think that's... That's my guess, and I think it's pretty safe to say that's what we're going to get when we get a new tool for this. So um, there is an absolutely nothing wrong with either of these cameras. They don't need the cameras replaced. Both of them need a new ribbon. They need this ribbon here on the left side. If you're holding the quad and pointing it away from you, uh, it's the left side ribbon. And I'll explain these ribbons to you. And I'll explain what happened to one of them here. One of them I already showed you, and it was this part right here. I showed you this in another video, but you can see where it's damaged. See that top row? See that little blank spot? It, it, they crushed the pins on it. Um, this is how it came from the factory. This was not the owner's problem or fault, and I can back that up because he never opened up the quad prior to sending it to me. Um, so this that's all it needs is that ribbon but this one this guy sent me and uh, Since that last video, I've actually uh, I've been getting a lot of Zenos a lot for one person Who works a full-time job and does everything else? I, I've got four more uh, two are done and gone. I still have the other two I'm working on but this one here Here's what's happening with I think a majority of them if you're not crashing and damaging them uh, what I think you're getting is there is this plate right here and it goes on the back of the camera gimbal like so you remove that and what Hubson is telling you to do you see that let me point to it that area right there they're telling you to press that in so they're calling that a reset reset it's not a reset basically it's a receipt s-e-a-t you're reseating the connection you're reconnecting that cable the cable has come unplugged so all you're doing is you're pressing that back in place people hit that too hard they hit it off to the side or bottom, they end up breaking it. And that's what's happened here. I took the cover off this one. And the person that owns this, um, I still have his quad because I don't have the cable. Uh, the person that owns it, 
uh, he did tell me that he had to hit that reseat button plug uh, umpteen times and then it finally broke so I don't know I think he tried to glue it in or whatever it's got something all over it maybe he added some foam or something to it I don't know because it's not normally like this they don't normally have all this foam on them but anyhow here it is so what happened is I took the cover off and this fell out so it detached itself from the cable and I mean from the plug the plug is still in here the plug that's normally on the thread tape is still plugged into the actual camera or the gimbal and then the cable itself ripped and then that portion that the plug solders to is what I have left behind here so if you look at the cables they come down the side and then they go around to the top and the back and then this one here it goes around I'm falling off the camera here I'm sorry this one here goes around and then comes inside this side so they go in each side of the camera and this one here is for the servos so what that does is it plugs into the top it plugs into the back and it plugs into the side to the best of my knowledge that's for the servos this one here is for the camera itself it simply goes down and trails through into this side then it coils around and actually goes into a connection for the camera itself um, that one there I don't see as being a good user-friendly repair for people this one here it's simple as long as this this stuff comes with a sticky back adhesive on it it's easy to reroute it plug it all in and then my suggestion would be use the proper adhesive uh, or bond to keep it in place what they're using is a black I don't know if you can tell this black stuff what that is is it's liquid electrical tape is what they call it and it still expands and gives it's almost like a chewing gum it's soft um, it's not going to hold that plug in place and although these cameras give great quality good camera quality they're put together in my opinion put together very cheap um, that connection is terrible uh, the quality of that ribbon cable it's just terrible um, I could pop this connection I could peel that off very easily it comes off so easily I could see people unplugging this the wrong way and that coming and staying on the board and coming loose from the ribbon cable itself so I really don't think that this is a, a very well made camera for that reason but it is repairable if you have this ribbon cable so it's great that Hubson's going to be selling this uh, camera gimbal and a tool to install it uh, but for many people you will not even need to buy a whole camera and it's foolish to spend that much money when all you need is this the cable itself so now it's time to harass Hubson again I encourage everybody everybody who has a Zeno watching this video email service at hubson.com email Sam Lee LEE -E, at hubson.com email sales at hubson.com and then if you're on Facebook in any of their groups like the Hubson Zeno official group uh, flood them with messages there or flood them with comments there to rep to supply this ribbon cable as a part that you can purchase off their website um, message the Facebook profiles for the Hubson official or uh, Sam Lee and uh, send them private messages do that every day everybody flood them and I guarantee you they will cave within a few days and they will say yes we're gonna make this a part this part available whether they commit to it we still don't know but 
So far they said they're going to do the Cameron Gimbal four days after we started pr pushing and harassing them. Let's not use the word harass. Uh, politely asking them. And um, they'll do it with the cable too if you push enough. Hubson does not like pressure they don't like any of that controversy or anything like that they just they will they will fold they will cave eventually i guarantee this is going to be a part just like i said i guarantee this is going to be a part you can move that along if you apply a little pressure is what i'm saying so i encourage everybody to do that um so hopefully we'll be able to make these available this one here is now just kind of a spare but I would like to make it a functional one. That way, if anybody ever needs it on a repair I do, I have it. This one here, the gentleman is waiting for the repair. And I myself cannot fix these connections. I know in my last video I had a comment or two about uh, somebody that repairs cell phones. They know how to repair these cables. They told me that you can simply you know, replace these. This stuff is so micro, micro small to me, and even with the right magnifying glass and my soldering skills, I, I don't think I can do it. If you know of any YouTube videos that show how to make these repairs, uh, or you know, if you do this type of repair and you can make a video, post a link in the in the comment section of this video. I'd love to see how these are being repaired. Uh, because the way I see it is, uh, it looks like this end, or you can see there, it looks like this is basically kind of glued on uh, the way they come off. I mean, they just peel right off. So it almost looks like it's glued on and makes a connection that way. Uh, they come off way too easily. Um, Putting them back on, I, I don't see how it's done. I don't see any little solder points or anything, so I don't know how to do this repair. So, like I said, anybody has any information or if you can make a video doing this repair uh, to these cables, I'd love to see it. Um, in this case, it actually ripped. No, it's this one. It actually ripped like I showed you, so I don't know that that can be repaired at all. Uh, if it could, I definitely won't even attempt that myself, even if somebody teaches me. Um, the eyes aren't so good <laughs> for something like that. I definitely uh, would need a microscope. But um, that's it. I just wanted to, to make the video saying that uh, Hubson says these parts are going to be available. Um, whether or not that was me and my little campaign of helpers, uh, politely asking them every day uh, through multiple sources of contact that they provide. Um, I don't know if that's the case or not. I like to think that we had a little something to do with it and um, show you that if you do the same and tell them supply the ribbon cable, sh you know, show them a picture of what it is that you need. Um, because they always ask a bunch of questions and they want all kinds of information. It's the left ribbon cable that connects to the top and the back and goes to the left side of the camera in, inside this cover. Um, that's the main one that's going to, I guarantee you, 99% of the ones that break are going to be that left side, not this side here. It's only got one connection here and then one connection inside here which is well protected so the only damage that can happen with that is if it rips here somewhere this one has four connectors on it one here one here one in the back and one in the side so it has plenty of places that it can uh, it can break and I think like I said people being told that this is a reset button when it's not a reset button I think they're pressing it hard maybe having to do it too many times like this one and then they break so that's it and I think there's nothing else really to say um, yeah that's it Hubson says that it's something originally said it's something only they can do within China in their facility with their engineers <laughs> um, sorry I always laugh when I say engineers and Hubson 
uh, it's not the case. They they're proving that if they do send this part out with a with a tool to do so, I've proved it the hard way by doing it myself, and um, it simply can be done. So. Um, them stating that only they can do it with their engineers so forth I think is a bunch of bull and uh, it was just a excuse to hold people off and pacify people it didn't really pacify anybody it made people matter because these people need the cameras so um, I really can't do anything. All I can do is continue to message him like I've been doing. I don't get any replies. You'll probably get a reply. I don't get a reply because I'm kind of enemy number one right now. Maybe enemy number two. I know one other person that's more of an enemy than me. Um, but we won't go there. But um, uh, you'll probably get a reply. And uh, so any type of correspondence you have with them or whatever. Uh, make sure you don't say my name. Um, some have done that, and uh, you know, they make it clear that I am not a certified Hubson uh, repair person, although I'm fixing them now. I'll be up to 12 when I finish, um, and I'm sure more will follow. Um, and that uh, I'm giving people the wrong information. Uh, so I don't know what information I've given you that's wrong. I think I've been pretty accurate from the start on anything I've said or predicted about the Xeno. Um, I might have been off on the Wi-Fi, but we'll find out come summer if those Wi-Fi boards overheat and burn out. I know of some that have burned out. Some turned out just to be connection issues after updates, which were misunderstood as bad Wi-Fi modules. Um, but everything else, I pretty much think I've been dead on, <clears throat> and I can I can almost predict Hubson's next move on certain things. Um, so let's make my prediction come true. Give them pressure to sell you this left side ribbon cable for the camera gimbal, <clears throat> and see if it happens. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Get more. Uh, get get uh, notifications when I do more videos and as always throw that thumbs up and uh, We'll see you next video. Thanks